Alright, I'm Chef Hollywood along with Chef Matt. How's it going everybody? And today we're going to show you how to do a roasted chicken. We're going to break one down today as well. And also we're going to do uh, stuffing with mushrooms. I'll show you how to do the stock for the mushrooms and the chicken. Chef Matt's going to show us how to do the butternut squash with our seasoning with cherries and brown sugar and rub our chicken when we put it in the oven. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a saute pan for the stuffing and you're going to need a stock pot to do your liquid chicken stock. Chicken stock. Thank you. <laughs> Not there. Over here we have a couple roasting pans. One is going to be for our butternut squash that we will uh, rub down with our brown sugar and dried cherry seasoning. And then we'll need another one to actually roast our chicken. Along with a measuring cup with warm water. So the first step we're going to go ahead and get our liquid chicken stock. Chicken stock. We're going to go ahead and get this going. So. In your measuring cup, take about a cup of warm water, pour it in your bag here. And you could do this separately if you want to. I'm going to do it all together today, and that way we'll just heat it up together. Just make sure you get all the base Oops. off the bottom and out of the bag. And we'll go ahead and add that in our stock pot. I have to squeeze it out a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to do the other one as well. That way we just make one whole pot with our stock. Chef Everett's giving me some more water. Shake it up real good. Try to get all the stuff off the sides. It's a concentrated base, so you want to make sure you have all of it in there. Right there we've added about two cups of water. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more cups and taste it. And we're going to get this on the stove and start heating it up. If you miss, go ahead and stir. Make sure all that base is good. Keep in mind while you're doing all of this, you're going to have that stock on the stove so you keep it whipped up the top. This is why we're not allowed to have chickens no more. They dance for us. All right, so for the roasted chicken, uh, first step is go ahead and unpack it. You're going to put it on a cutting board. Make sure that uh, you wash the surface before and after you handle this. Wash your hands before and after you handle this. We have our rub here, and we're going to take it and very liberally, we're going to start rubbing the chicken down with it. The reason why they call it a rub is you want the meat to absorb all the salt. This is going to be the crust on the chicken. Make sure you lift the armpits, get up in there too. Help it, help it, get my arms. Go ahead and flip it over. Same thing on the other side. If you have any kind of fresh herbs or seasoning or anything like that, you can actually stuff the chicken with Apples, limes, lemons, rosemary, garlic, and anything like that. It'll help the flavor. Put it over again. And then you can see that we have a nice coverage on the entire chicken. I'm going to go ahead and put this in our pan. You always want to make sure it's breast side down. So this is the chicken breast here. That way all the juices as it cooks absorbs back into the thicker part of the meat. And we'll leave that for a second. I'm going to clean up real fast and we'll show you how to uh, go ahead and start the butternut squash. 
So the first step with the butternut squash is we are going to de-seed it. So you're just going to take a spoon here and pull out all the seeds. If you notice, they're very similar to a pumpkin. Uh, this is a gourd vegetable, so it's very similar to a pumpkin, same family. it should look something like that and then all we're simply going to do is roast this off first we want it nice and soft that way we can work with it so I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and kind of just coat the outside that way it cooks faster it's going to conduct the heat and then just sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper Now that our chicken and squash are ready, we're going to roast these. We're going to put them right in a 350 degree oven. And the first step is the chicken. So this is probably going to take about an hour to cook. So you see our stock is uh, nice and boiling. It's hot. We're going to go ahead and add some of this to the bottom of the pan. And what this liquid is going to do is it's going to keep chicken moist while it cooks. And then we're going straight to the oven. Three fifty for about an hour. And we'll check this periodically. Probably around the 35, 45 minute mark. squash. We're going to put this in maybe about 30 minutes. So when we check the chicken, the squash should be done. Alright, I'm going to show you how to break down the chicken. Hopefully it comes out the right way. First thing we're going to do, we're going to cut off the tail part. Discard that. What we're going to do is we're going to get the breast you're going to cut right down the center of the breast. Okay, make sure you got a good sharp knife. If you got a meat cleaver, that'll work as well. And then you're going to get, break those bones right in the middle here. Yeah, split the breast in half. So what you want to do there, you're going to cut it open. The backbone right here, the whole middle piece. And then again, make sure you got a really good sharp knife. Come down. And you're gonna break up, break all the bones and just cut it through. I have to get my meat cleaver on this one. My knives need to be sharpened. Well, you ones in my class, you know what I'll do. going to cut out that backbone. Make sure when you do this, you do not put your fingers down there. That knife will not have no mercy on your finger. You're going to cut out the whole neck. When you're flipping on the sides, if you look, you'll see that crease right here. You'll see the other one. Some people leave the wing on. What we'll do is we'll take one wing off and leave one on so I show you how to do that. Now all you want to do is with your knife, whatever one that you're using, you're just going to cut down on that crease. Now to give you your leg and your thigh together, here's your breast and the wing. When you cook this, you kind of want to tuck your wing up, uh, tuck it in like this. We're going to do the other one. I'm going to show you how to separate the the wing and the, and the leg. And what we're going to do is again, we're going to cut down that crease. Now you got your breast. You want to find that little knuckle right in the middle. And there again, if you've got a meat cleaver, you might want to use the cleaver. 
sometimes you can find that knuckle. When you cook a wing, some people cook the whole wing with the tip. Some people just cook the uh, the arm and the drumette. There you go, you got two pieces out of that one. When you do your leg, you got a knuckle. You'll feel it about right in here. You'll feel where that joint. What you want to do is you want to cut right, right down on that joint. That's the way you get a leg. You see where the joint is right there. So you get, so that's where you'll get four pieces versus two. So if you got a big family, you want to break it down a little bit. Everybody might like a wing and a leg, breast or thigh or whatever. Or if it's just a couple of you, then you got half and half. Cool, so now that our squash is done, this is what it should look like. You should see uh, it should be a little soft to the touch. Nice roasted lines. Be very careful with your pan because it is hot. So what I'm going to do is just run my knife down, just to kind of loosen it up. I'm going to take the spoon, and we're just going to scoop the squash out. You want to put it in a small bowl like you have here. So all this is edible, so basically what we're making is a little boat for this. We'll scoop it out the best we can, be very careful, it's hot. Let it cool down a little bit, that's fine. And it looks like some of it is still a little bit hard, so we might have to throw it back in the oven. That's okay. Just get as much as you can out of there. butter at home, that'll go great in this as well. We're just going to mix this up together. When you, if you throw this back in the oven, be very careful because the brown sugar will burn quick. So you want to make sure and keep an eye on it. Just kind of make like a little mashed potato mixture. In this case, it's a mashed squash. squash all the way through the first time you won't have to put it back in the oven this should be ready to go just like it is and in my case a little bit of the squash is still undercooked at the bottom so I'm going to throw it back in the oven for about another five to ten minutes and then it'll brown the brown sugar up a little bit. Alright in your packet we give you a thing of mushrooms we give you stuffing it's already got the seasoning mix already into it when you go through your mushrooms, look over them if they got like a bad spot or they feel slimy. You know, you don't feel like safe like this one here is really bad. Just discard it. Ones that you do have. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to wash them off really good. You'll see the dirt still on them when they've been grown. So you want to wash them really good. If you have onion, you can cut up and dice an onion really small and dice these up. We're going to add it to the stuffing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wash off the mushrooms, get all the, the dirt and all the other good, good, goodness of the earth off of there. And you see I'm getting all the, all the good dirt out of it. Yeah, you because know, they're growing in a mixture of all kinds of stuff in the dark in a cave. You want to make sure you get everything out. So these are pretty much things out. Make sure you drain them off. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
Some people pop out the stem, some people eat them, some people don't. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slice it down. Be careful your fingers come back around and cut them again. Get them all uniform. What we're going to do is we're just going to saute them up just a little bit with a little butter. That's about all we do for this little bit. What we do is take a little butter, we'll get our pan good hot. As I said, here's where if you got onion, dice your onion first. And then um, saute your onion before you do the mushroom. Mushrooms won't take very long to saute up to the point of kind of from being a hard crisp, you want it to be a little bit soft. And they're going to cook more as we do our stuffing with it as well. We're doing stove top stuffing, so you can use a skillet. You can do a whole bunch of stuffing. You can use a stock pot as well. What we're going to do is we're going to add our mushrooms. I'll take these up just a little bit. When you add your stuffing to this, you're going to add your water first. You're going to need a cup of the broth that we made earlier. About one cup should work. What we're going to do now is we're going to add our broth to this. It's going to get good and hot, so when we add our stuffing, it'll cook up a little bit. up a little bit. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and see where it's already starting to get hot. What we're going to do is we're going to add our stuffing. Now you can do this in about the last 10-15 minutes of uh, your chicken. That way when your chicken is done, your stuffing can be done. It's only taking about 10-15 minutes. Basically, you just get it where it's moist and soft. And that's about all you're doing. You're getting all your juice worked out. You know, it's going to soak in. If it gets to the point that you think it's a little too dry, you can always add a little more stock to it. Keep it stirred up where it don't stick to your pan. You can add a little more butter if you want to. Just to give it an rich flavor. If you got some uh, rosemary and thyme, you can always add to it. All right, so now our chicken has cooked for about an hour. You should have a nice caramelized crust on it. Um, if you have one of these biotherms in your house, very, very big help. Uh, they're less than $10 in any kind of grocery store, Walmart, anything like that. You want to make sure and tempt the chicken at its thickest part. So you want it to be at least 165 degrees. So right now we're pushing around the 180 mark. And so that is done. We'll temp it in a couple different places just to double check, make sure. It has to be over 165. For plating purposes, we're gonna use our broken down chicken here. So what we're gonna do here for our plate, we're gonna grab one piece, maybe a leg. some gravy or make a sauce you can use the chicken stock to make a sauce as well and then of course I've cut our squash up into smaller portions be sure to take care and you know, wipe the edges of your plate down and voila there you go it's a nice hearty family meal enjoy